Let's say that you're working on a bridge project and you want to complete a daily report in order to document work being done on the job. So first, you would go into the Plan Grid app and select the project plans from the project list. Next, you'll select the Field Reports icon from the toolbar located at the bottom of the screen. Then, in the pop-up window, you'll notice the several different form and report options that are available. Please note, each one of these are fillable PDFs and can be completed and submitted using the Plan Grid app. So, depending on the report or form that you would like to create, you can get started quickly and easily by simply selecting the thumbnail of the report template that you would like to use or by selecting the title of the report or form that you would like to create. Today, you'll be creating an Inspector Daily Report, so you'll select this option and select the name of the report from the list. By selecting the name of the report as opposed to the icon, you can see a list of all the daily reports created on the project. In this next window for this field report template, note that any daily reports submitted prior to today's report are listed under the Submitted section for this particular report, while reports that have not yet been submitted are listed under Drafts. This makes it easy to locate should you need to come back to a draft later before completing and submitting the final report. Today, however, you'd like to create a new draft and will therefore begin by selecting the plus sign located in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. This will take you to the beginning screen of the report draft, where you will see what is essentially a cover page for the report. On this cover page, or Report Details screen, you can note information such as the report date. Please note, this date can be edited if needed, but it's recommended that reports be completed on the day the work takes place. On the next line, notice an option to add a description, which you can edit by simply tapping on this section and typing in a description of the work being done. So let's say that today, the contractor is dewatering a coffer dam on the project and addressing several environmental concerns. You'll note this here. You'll also find information regarding the weather, which is pulled in based on your location at the time that the report is completed and the nearest National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, weather station. If this information is not accurate, for example, if the report is completed the next day instead of the day of the weather has likely changed, you will need to note in the body of the report that the weather is incorrect and what the actual weather report was for the date of the report. Under the reference section of this field's reports details screen, there are also several options available to attach descriptive or supplemental items. So, in this instance, for example, if you want to add some pictures of the work that took place, you can select Add, located at the end of the Photos line. Then, you can choose to either take a photo, choose from the camera roll stored on your iPad, or choose from plan grid photos that are already loaded into the project. So, let's go ahead and grab several pictures from your Plan Grid photo library so that they're included with the report. Note here that you can also link to tasks, documents, and snapshots that have been previously added to the project. So, let's go ahead and reference an environmental task you're addressing today regarding check dams. After making any desired edits to the details screen of the report, you can then scroll back up to the top of the page of your draft to edit the PDF of the Inspector Daily Report. To begin, go to the thumbnail at the top of the Report Details screen and select Edit. This will open up the PDF in an editable format, beginning with the first page of the report. This first page contains fairly generic information, such as the date, project UPC, and inspector name. To begin the overview of the work performed, this first page also contains a large section for general notes. However, if this section of the report does not provide enough room for all of your notes, you can talk to your admin to get a larger template added to the project. So, for this example, you'll add some details regarding the work done today. The second page of the form begins with personnel information, including a table where you can list the contractors that were on site, their role, etc. The next table provides a space to list the schedule activities, followed by any other personnel that may have been on site that day. So let's go ahead and enter that information quickly here. The third page of the Inspector Daily Report begins with a table for any equipment used on the job that day. 
The second table on this page provides a space for listing any work items installed on that day and any associated details. Once again, you'll note this information. The fourth and final page of the report provides space to sketch anything that is easier to describe in picture or diagram form. Make sketches by selecting the pen icon in the lower right-hand corner of the screen and using the markup tools provided. Once you've added all of the information or detail that you'd like to include in the report, you can select Save located in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. This will return you to your report's cover page or report details page. At this point, you'll want to review the cover page to ensure all of the detail, pictures, tasks, documents, and or snapshots have been added to the report. Once the final details of the report have been reviewed and confirmed, you're ready to submit the report. To do so, you'll select Submit in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Once this report has been submitted, the construction manager and any other administrators on the project can go in and review the report by selecting Field Reports while in the project, and then Inspector Daily Report. You can also preview the report or email a shareable link by going to the Export Options icon located in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. For this example, you can select on Preview PDF to see how the report that you just created looks. As an additional note, similar to completing your daily work report in PlanGrid, you can also complete and submit forms in PlanGrid. Just like your daily work report, these are fillable PDF forms that can be completed in the field from your iPad. To start a form, you'd go to the main field reports screen, just like you would for a report. Instead of selecting the green plus on the Inspector Daily Report icon, you'd select it for the form you'd like to complete. For this example, let's select the Work Zone Safety Inspection form to inspect a contractor's MOT. Once you select this, you're taken to the cover sheet screen, similar to that for a field report. You can note the report date, description, and weather, and also reference photos, tasks, documents, and snapshots. To actually fill out the form itself, select the Edit button over the picture of the form. You can simply fill in the boxes on the form as they relate to your project. Once you've completed the form, select Save in the upper left of the screen. Then, if you're ready to submit the form, select Submit in the upper right of the screen. Note that this report can be previewed and shared in the same way as your regular daily work report.